Lamar Jackson's presence at OTAs, it speaks volumes for the Baltimore Ravens, and, and it's so important. It's really, really big for the Baltimore Ravens on so many different levels, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, we talked about a couple of days ago how significant it was for somebody like Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was there at OTAs. This is his first year with the team. This dude's a veteran. He done been there, done that. What would he be doing at OTAs for what? But Derrick Henry, he was a man of his word. He said that he was going to show the Ravens how he how committed he was. He wanted to get to know the, the, the teammates. He wanted to get to know the franchise, the coaching staff and all that. And OTA, voluntary OTAs, by the way, they ain't got to be there. But Derrick Henry, new contract Derrick Henry, new team Derrick Henry, he showed up to set an example. Other guys were there the other day too, like a Roquan Smith, like a Pat Ricard. There were, there were a lot. Rashad Bateman, he was there as well. And there were some other guys too. Plenty of other guys there too. And that was significant. But I know a lot of people question, hey, wh where's Lamar Jackson? Is Lamar Jackson the OTA? Because we saw him at Preakness looking clean. We saw him. We saw Zay Flowers, saw Malik Cunningham, all at Preakness looking clean. Charlie Kolar, Ray Lewis, a bunch of Ravens were there. I mean, it's in Baltimore, so why not? But anyway, Lamar Jackson, he showed up to OTAs. And that is so significant because Lamar Jackson, we know that he is the leader of this football team. He is the leader of the Baltimore Ravens. So for Lamar Jackson, he got his contract. He got his money. Ain't got nothing to prove with that. Obviously, he still got to get a Super Bowl. That's the ultimate goal. But him being there, that says a lot. And that can really have such a positive impact on this team another reason why this is huge his second year in this offense so he'll be that much more comfortable with the offense and then he can help teach it to other people as well you got rookies coming in you got other players that are coming in too that you're going to want to be as familiar and as comfortable as you possibly can this is great for Lamar Jackson to just be in the building now probably my favorite reason that this is so great for Lamar Jackson being there is for number seven, Rashad Bateman. So much has been said over the past year, especially last year. All last season we talked about it during the season. All offseason we've been talking about it, how Rashad Bateman and Lamar Jackson, they just cannot and have not been on the same page. They cannot get on the same page. Their chemistry, their rapport is just off. It's been off for a while. They just, all these miscommunications, they don't get each other. And we wondered why. And we said, well, I said myself, it was because of timing. The timing has been bad. The, the, they have both have, have had injuries uh, where the other one's been healthy, but the other one's been injured. So there was a time where Lamar was hurt, but Rashad Bateman, he was healthy. There have been times where Rashad Bateman, he was hurt, but Lamar is healthy. And they just have not consistently been able to get on the same page. But Rashad Bateman, in a presser, this offseason, after he got his contract extension, Rashad Bateman talked about, he said, hey, that's on me. He said, Lamar Jackson, trust me. He said, he trusts me, but we just haven't been on the same page because of my injuries in the offseason. He said, I've been hurt in the offseason, and that's taken away from the time that we can really build rapport up. And guess who's there at OTAs? Rashad Bateman. He said that he want to get on the same page with Lamar. He's there at OTAs doing it. And guess who also is at OTAs? Lamar Jackson. So this can... This could be so big, man. like, cause especially this year, because we know so much is riding on Rashad Bateman this year. The Baltimore Ravens, they didn't, or well, they drafted a receiver, but they drafted Tez Walker in what the fourth round. So he'll have an impact. It won't be if it's crazy significant. Hey, great, but I, I don't feel like it'll be crazy significant. He'll be a deep threat and whatnot. But we'll, we'll see. It's to be determined. But they still got Zay Flowers, obviously. They brought back Nelson Aguilar. Uh, and you got your, your 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 tight ends with Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely, but as far as at wide receiver, they got rid of Odell Beckham Jr. and and that was a significant move. And they did not draft a receiver early in the draft, so they they obviously didn't trade for one, and they haven't signed any other ones yet. But they basically told Rashad Bateman this off season by the moves that they made and didn't make, like, hey, it's your time, my friend. It's your time to shine, my friend. It, it's on you. What you gonna do with this opportunity? So they're really showing that they believe in Rashad Bateman. And I know there's been a lot of debate on that, whether they should believe in Rashad Bateman or not. But whatever you think, whatever we feeling, however, whatever our opinion is on it, the Baltimore Ravens have shown us that they are believing in Rashad Bateman. So with him being there with Lamar Jackson, them being at the same place, same time in the offseason, in this offseason, leading up to this season, 
that's only a, a beautiful thing. Now, um, with Lamar Jackson, um, he obviously is a quarterback. Now, somebody else who's a quarterback, too, is Malik Cunningham. But they said today he was not working out at quarterback. He was working with the wide receivers. Uh, Lamar Jackson, in his presser, he didn't confirm exactly what, what weight he's at right now. Uh, but he did say that he is trying to be more agile. So Lamar Jackson must have felt like last year, all right, I done bulked up over these past couple of years, but I ain't making people miss as much as I want to. I ain't embarrassing these folks as much as I should be. So that should be um, interesting to see how Lamar Jackson is. Because it's like, even though he may not have been as agile as he was in years past, maybe if he wasn't as fast as he had been in years past, he's still Lamar Jackson, man. <laughs> so... It, like that, that, that's enough right there he's still Lamar Jackson man so that's he's still a problem but now he's looking to and he knows that he needs to be and wants to be an even bigger problem for defenses so that's a, a beautiful thing man uh Zay Flowers like a lot of Ravens fans I guess we share the same sentiments he said uh he's still not over the AFC title game loss uh and that's what a lot of the the Baltimore Ravens uh had said today in the presser and with Kyle Hamilton uh he talked about how he wants to uh, wants the Ravens to right their wrongs uh and ultimately win a Super Bowl and yeah we all hoping for that we all certainly hoping for that they obviously had the team last year fell short for a lot of different reasons we don't even need to get into that but they already know man and, and that's another reason why with all of these different players just being in the building for uh, voluntary OTAs again they don't gotta be there but it says a lot that so many of them are there for something they don't have to be. And it shows how committed they are to achieving the ultimate goal. Obviously, you, you could say, oh, yeah, there's a lot of teams who a lot of players showed up for OTAs and whatnot. And that's true. But how many of them went to the AFC Championship last year? There could have been a big hangover from these Ravens players. They could have been like, oh, man, we came so close last year. Man, I ain't going to OTAs early. I don't, I don't feel like it. No, but they showed up. They showed up. And they showing out. So I'm just, I know as a Ravens fan, a lot of us lost excitement um, after that AFC Championship game. A lot of Ravens fans like, oh, man, yeah, we done. We ain't doing nothing. Same old stuff. And I get it. I get how frustrated we all were because we did see a lot of the same stuff. And a lot still has to be proven because I know a lot of Ravens fans are still on the same thing. Like, oh, regular season don't mean nothing. It, it, wake me up when it's playoff time. No, no, I'm going to be woken up like from preseason, from training camp. I'm going to be up. But I know some of y'all still going to be sleeping. That's fine. To each his own. But um, these Baltimore Ravens are showing like, yeah, they're they really trying to get this thing done. And, and one last little tidbit. Shout out to Kyle Hamilton because he talked about how Nate Wiggins, he said Nate Wiggins is only 20 years old. He's super young, super talented. But he said like um, with, uh, with Nate Wiggins, if he make like a bad play or something, he messes up. Then he said since he's he not even 21 yet, so he can't even drink. So if he had like a bad game or something, have a bad play, he can't even go get a Mike's Hard Lemonade. He got to go get some like some juice, some apple juice or something like that. But shout out to Nate Wiggins, man. We're looking forward to how he gets incorporated into this uh, defense. Now, something else that Kyle Hamilton said that I appreciate is something that we've been expecting. So I don't think it's really a surprise. Um, but he did say that a lot of what they did with Mike McDonald, uh, Zach Orr is doing, but he's putting his own little spin on it. He's putting his own little, little, little spin on the defense. So that's going to be something that's very, very significant to watch for, how they run this defense, how they run the show. But, again, the more people that are there at OTAs now, you start installing the defense from early. They can start learning early. So that's why it's such a, a great sign that so many of them are there in the building because the more work you do, the more repetitions you get, the better you can be in the long run and the more ready you'll be uh, at the start of this football season, especially – because you got a tough task, the toughest task in the league, week one against them Chiefs.